Good afternoon to you. This is David Rich Island, Bounce and Trap, Body, Mind, and Spirit. So I hope you're doing well on this Sunday afternoon or whenever it is you're catching this in the future. Hope it's going good for you. My Sunday's not quite what I thought it was going to be. Of course, that's my fault. I kind of let myself get a little lax, so i got to pick things up here before the day gets done. But interesting little topic for you today, if you will. Um, let me know you care and synchronicities. Let me kind of cover the synchronicities part because it leads into let me know you care. I mentioned a little while back about the RAS, the reticular activating system, which means if the big example was if you start thinking about a car, you like suddenly see that car all over the place. The car was always there, just that suddenly your mind says, okay, it's important. Let's, <clears throat> now we see it, we're going to bring it to your attention. There's that, and then there's when you come across things. <clears throat> I don't believe in coincidence, I believe there's synchronicities. So when you come across something, a topic, and it's very specific, if you're looking to research on something, suddenly articles show up in your email. Now, these are things you would pay attention to anyways, but when they're exactly what you're looking for, those are synchronicities. Um, the way this, uh, like last week I was talking to someone, I referenced a quote from a celebrity. Either that morning or the day before, she's seen something on that certain celebrity. And it kind of freaked her out a little bit. It's like, wait a second, I just seen this piece on this person, and it's not something all across the news. Now you're telling me, quote, I kind of freaked her out a little bit. But for me, those are the synchronicities. They're like the nudges from the universe, someone called like Wings from the Universe. Something like that one there. So, give me. I pay attention to those. If I got something I'm either concerned, uh, thinking about, working on, and then I get an email on it, I get a couple of Facebook posts on it, something like that one there where they're very specific. And it's like, oh, McKay, let me know that. Let me know I'm going in the right direction. <clears throat> so, that leads into synchronicity I had, which led me to the topic right now. So, I've mentioned uh, a couple of times that I've been sending messages out to people I've lost contact with. And I don't always get re replies back, but yeah, I'm just checking out to say, hey, I've lost contact with people. I'm sending messages to see how you're doing. And so I've been doing that. I've also, because I used to send birthday wishes all the time. I stopped doing it for a couple of years and I started back again. And a lot of times if I send a birthday wish, either on Facebook Messenger or through um, uh, text, I have a tendency to send a voicemail. <clears throat> and what I did recently with family was when I sent the family, I'd end it with either love you, love you, or I love you. With the first time I did, it kind of threw me off. It's like, okay, that's out of character for me. However, when I get finished, like, no, I want to make sure my family knows that I'm th I care about them and I love them. So with that, so with the idea of saying I love you to your friends and family, the ones you care about the most, I was thinking about doing that as a topic for today's video. And I wasn't for sure about it until I came across uh, Mel Robbins' uh, Facebook post from her. Mel Robbins, I've mentioned her in the past, not the recent past, but she's great. So this is where all the synchronicity also comes into play. So this is what she had to say. This was earlier this morning. A couple of months ago, I noticed that our oldest daughter, Sawyer, was sudden, suddenly texting me a note every day. I love you, Mom. I told her how much it meant to me. She smiled and said, I have an alarm on my phone that goes off every day and reminds me to text both you and Dad that I love you. What a simple and powerful idea. I decided to follow her lead. I started texting my parents when I when they would pop up in my head. Just a quick, I miss you, just want to let you know I'm thinking about you. Then I started doing it with my friends. I saw your post on Instagram and it made me miss you. Just checking in to catch up. <clears throat> then I started doing it with people in my network that inspire me. And I couldn't believe how much it helped ground me in the purpose of my own work. Their advice was always exactly what I need to feel that spark of inspiration to take the next step. <clears throat> After a few days, I noticed how much more connected I felt to the people that I can't necessarily see or connect with as often as I would like. <clears throat> it made me smile every time I got a response back that my message made someone's day. Plus, it's such an easy thing to fold into your everyday routine. And she continues, now it's your turn. Text someone you love today. Tell them you miss them. Tell them you're proud of them. Tell them how much they inspire you. Tell them that they're doing a great job and that you love them. And then the picture she has here says, hey, thinking of you. And if you're thinking about them, text them. You'll be surprised how much you'll make it someone's day, including yours. <clears throat> so for me, the idea that I was reaching out to people, I start saying I love you to my family, which I do. And, um, ah. It's also important because sometimes you don't know when you won't see him again. That's um, I come from a 
the larger you stay in the family, the more you have, the more you lose. And you say, I love you because you don't know when the last time will be. But with the idea of thinking about talking about that today and then having that message come through from Mel, it's like, okay, yeah, this is something I need to talk about. So for that, pay attention to the synchronicities around you, whatever it is you're working on, whatever it is you're going for. Look for those nudges from the universe, those winks, whatever you like to call it. Those taps on the shoulder from God, whatever you choose to. Pay attention to those around you let you know you're heading in the right direction. And then also with that, reach out to those you care for. Reach out to your family and friends. Send a message to them. And again, as I've, with my own experience, doesn't mean you're going to hear back from them. But reach out to them anyways. Let them know a message just to check on to see how they're doing. And as Mel said, it's going to let you, when you get a response back, it's always neat. And I know what it's like personally. <clears throat> Sometimes you just get a message out of the blue and say, hey, how you doing? And yeah, there are certain people that can be more to you than others. <clears throat> and it can go back both ways. But yeah, go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Send, yeah, let me know in the comments. What have you done? Either <clears throat> let me know some of the synchronicities you've been aware of in your life recently. Or maybe some big ones from the past. But also, let me know if you're going to do that. Let me know if you're going to reach out to people. <clears throat> One, two persons a day, whatever it's going to be. And if you have done that, let me know the difference it made in your life. Maybe possibly theirs. All right, so that's your uh, kind of action there, step of training, whatever you want to call it for today. So pay attention to your synchronicities and reach out to those you care about. Let them know you're thinking about them. Love them. All right, we'll catch you next time. Take care. Bouncing to you.